Among the most exciting developments in lung cancer over the last few years has been the introduction of immune checkpoint inhibitors, agents that are given by vein that help to stimulate the immune system really by turning off one of the breaking mechanisms. And there's two main treatment approaches that are used. They're called PDL1 inhibitors and PD1 inhibitors. And these uh, PD1 and PDL1 are receptors that uh, attach to each other, and when they work together, they lead to a breaking mechanism for uh, the immune system. These antibodies can block either the PD1 or the PDL1 side of that and turn off that braking mechanism, much like stopping or, or taking off the emergency brake on a car and leading it to, to roll ahead. Now, PD-1 is on the T cells of the immune system. PD-L1 is on the tumor cells. So there are different agents, and they block different sides of this interaction. And the question is, does it matter which one you get, or are they all pretty much the same? There are two agents as of now that are FDA approved in advanced lung cancer, and those are Opdivo, known as nivolumab, and Keytruda, known as pembrolizumab. And although there are other agents that are likely to become FDA approved in the future. Now, these uh, two agents, Opdivo and pembrolizumab, are both PD-1 inhibitors. Others, such as atezolizumab and others, are known as PDL1 inhibitors. Does it matter which one you get? Do the results differ? Well, we don't absolutely know because we have not yet seen the results or even done a trial that directly compares how patients do when they get one over another. But the results are remarkably similar regardless of which agent is tested in the same setting. Specifically, they all seem to produce response rates of about 15 to 20 percent in the broad population. And if we look at patients who have significant PDL1 expression, the protein that is associated with uh, the more inhibitory effect, we see better results with any of these. It remains to be seen whether you can treat a patient with a PD-1 inhibitor like Keytruda, like Opdivo, and then get a good result once they show progression because you've given them a PDL1 in inhibitor. But for all intents and purposes, the results in terms of efficacy and also side effect profiles are remarkably similar, and most specialists feel that they are really essentially interchangeable until we see evidence showing otherwise.